we're looking at the best fall sneakers. What's going on guys, Pixelated back at it again with another video. Hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to be looking at six sneakers. Yes, you heard me, six sneakers and boots that as sneakerheads and style enthusiasts, you guys would love or need to have at least one of these in your fall sneaker rotation. I know this video is a little late. We're like halfway through fall already, but you can still use this for like the beginning of winter as well. These are sneakers or boots that aren't too heavy, bulky, and are great to dodge wet and cold fall weather while still keeping you styling and flossing. I'm gonna try to make them all sneakers that are still available to purchase or are easy to get. Now we're not gonna keep it traditional, so what I'm doing is I'm switching it up a bit. Not only am I gonna tell you the best fall sneakers currently available on the market, I'm also going to give you my current rotation alternative to them, since I obviously don't have every sneaker on Mother Earth. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. So we have the Special Field Air Force One High at the number six spot. And I know this is kind of unfair since they may not be out as of the upload date of this video. But if Nike's initial iterations of the Special Field Air Force One is any indication, this new Nike Special Field Air Force One High that is much higher and probably easier to put on than the initial SFAF One, it will be a great shoe for the fall. You can slide them on easy peasy since they replace the complicated lacing with a simple zipper and these thick rope laces bunch up your pants at the top for a dope unique look my current replacement for these is for the time being is the special field air force one string this is the original version also known as the sfaf1 and released in plenty of colorways you can see this version didn't even come with the paracord strap but like i like this color so much it didn't even matter to me i say for the time being because obviously i may actually cop the sfaf1 high when they come out we'll see how i'm feeling at the time Next on the list is yet another Special Field Air Force One. It is the SFAF1 in the desert orange colorway. This is the original silhouette. Now, most people might be put off by the bright orange color, and I think aside from the fact that Nike released these with a lot of stock, that might be the initial reason why they're still easy to get, but I personally think these are great for the fall. Fall is a time of pumpkin pie, Halloween, and mass pumpkin carvings, and what better to go with chocolate and pumpkin pie than this pair of Special Field Air Force Ones right here. These are still available on Nike.ca for us Canadians, Nike.com for you US folk, and several local boutiques like Livestock and whatnot. My alternative to these would be the Yeezy 750 in the chocolate brown colorway. Granted, this isn't the same sneaker and there isn't any orange on here. Well, I mean, you know, this flesh tone gum sole could kind of be orange, but these are what I own in a high top and they are literally named chocolate brown. Great shoe for the fall and the color goes well with most fall colors too. You could wear these with those natural browns, beige, and even flannel pattern clothing. So great shoe for the fall. The Nike Air More Up Tempos take the third spot on the list because they're just an all around attractive shoe. I for one was glad to see the resurgence of this sneaker this year. It comes off as a little bulky, but that's great when you need a little bit of warmth and protection from cold and fall weather. It's available in a handful of colorways since Nike decided to release them in a ton of colorways this year because they were attempting to bring them back. My alternative to this sneaker was not really an alternative. It's kind of the same shoe as the Supreme Up Tempo. Same shoe, different text, either way a great fall shoe, bulky, thick. Once again, great color for the fall. I may not be keeping these. I might be getting the Kith Air Pippins and sell these to get those, but I mean... Same shoe, different text. Either way, great fall shoe, bulky, thick. Once again, great color for the fall, maybe a little too vibrant, but you'll definitely find plenty red leaves on the ground to match with these, at least for like nine days before those leaves wither away. Sorry, that was the fourth spot, not the third spot. Third on the list is none other than the Ultra Boost ATR. There's no way this wasn't making the list. It takes the most comfortable midsole known to mankind, which is the Ultra Boost midsole, full on boost, and plunks it into a revamped Ultra Boost upper designed to keep the elements away from your feet with a mid cut snug sock upper and a water resistant coating on the entire upper. I don't know how well this works as I haven't tried the sneaker. What I can say is it's definitely fall friendly. My alternative to this is the Kith Ultra Boost Mid ATR, obviously not designed to avoid the fall weather as much since it doesn't have a water resistant coating up here, but it is a mid cut with a very, very snug ankle collar and this ATR taping that gives mild protection against water splashing on your shoe. Of course, very fall friendly colorway as well. Second on the list is the Air Presto Mid Utility. For the most part, you really can't go wrong with this shoe. It's a mid with a nice zipper ankle sock thingamajig that'll keep your foot protected and prevent anything from getting into the shoe. The upper is typically made of material that keeps you warm while still being soft and comfortable. Plus, it's a lightweight shoe and comes in multiple colors. What more 
or could you ask for? My alternative to these is the Alexander Wang B-Ball. I know, surprise, I don't have a pair of Air Presto Mid Utilities. The Alexander Wang B-Ball is kind of bulky, so it's not really similar to the Air Presto Mid Utility at all, but it does have a slew of materials on it that keep it pretty fall weatherproof while also keeping your foot visibly warm like this terry cloth right here will definitely keep your foot warm along with this leather upper we also have this thick boost midsole which provides mad comfort and for the final top spot we have the tried and true the classic the og air jordan one now i don't want to pick a specific colorway for this sneaker but if i had to choose it would be the sale colorway it is probably the most widely available colorway that is fall friendly and has decent materials on it the air jordan one is a high cut shoe that is pretty much fall friendly doesn't have any new advanced technology in it but it'll go with almost anything it'll protect your feet from fall weather and a little cold for the most part while still keeping you stylish and you can wear these with almost anything honorable mentions to the reverse shattered backboard colorway since it would go well with fall as well it's just sold out and you can't really find it the way you can with the sale jordan ones my alternative to this is really nothing else other than the air jordan one shattered backboard perfect fall colorway might be a little pricey to get if you don't already have a pair which is why i didn't put this up as the main colorway but this is definitely my if all else fails grab those pair for the fall or for any other occasion really minus anything in the winter with that being said hope you enjoyed the video if you took anything from it please hit that thumbs up hit the notification button so you don't miss out on my next video did you guys like the list or do you not read lists let me know down below and please sub for more juicy content catch you later pixelated out